Hey guys, it's Shayna and it's Tasty Tuesday. And today we're going to be making mini lemon blueberry cakes in our crock pot. Yes, it is possible. So we're going to start by turning our crock pot on high and cutting a one inch strip of cardboard and folding that up so that our bakeware can sit on top of that. You're going to need mini loaf pan, one eighth cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice, I'm substituting one fourth cup of applesauce for one egg, half a cup of sugar, three fourths cup of all purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder and salt each, half a cup of blueberries, one fourth cup of milk, one tablespoon of lemon zest, and three tablespoons of melted butter. I'm gonna start by lining my pan with parchment paper and spraying it with cooking spray. Now I'm going to combine the applesauce, sugar, melted butter, and lemon juice in a bowl and mix it all together. Then I'm going to add in my flour, baking powder and salt, and milk. To make it easier, you can alternate adding in the flour and milk, but I personally just prefer to dump it all in. Now we're going to coat our blueberries in about a tablespoon of flour. Then we're going to add our lemon zest to that. And we're going to fold the blueberries into the mixture. Now I did end up adding another half a cup of blueberries. Please don't do that because it's going to make the cake very, very soggy when it cooked. It was still good though. Now we're going to spoon our mixture into the pans. It's not going to rise as much as it does in the oven, so you can put the full mixture in that one loaf pan if you want. Since I wasn't sure, I ended up putting it in two. And you can definitely bake two at a time by stacking them on top of each other. So I let my cake stay in for three hours on high, and they ended up cooking very well. Be very careful taking them out of the crock pots because they are really, really hot. Now we're gonna make the glaze. You're gonna need two heaping tablespoons of powdered sugar and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Go ahead and mix that together. If you find that the consistency is too thick, add very, very small amounts of lemon juice to the mixture and stir it in until it gets to the consistency that you want. Now we're going to remove the cakes from the pans with the parchment paper and roll the parchment paper right off. Then we're going to drizzle our glaze over our cooled cake. And to garnish them, I'm just going to take leftover lemon peels and blueberries. And as you can see, it's very easy to cut into these cakes. My cake, like I said, was a little bit wet because I used too many blueberries, but it was still Alright guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share it. If you want to see more tutorials like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share this with a friend. P.S. Don't forget to join me back next week for Tasty Tuesday. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.